Welcome to Tableau Certified Associate Consultant Exam Prep. Today we're going to be reviewing Domain 1, which focuses on the initial stages of the Tableau deployment process. This domain accounts for 6% of the overall exam, which means that you will only see 3-4 to four questions related to the topics covered here. And here we have all the learning resources that are recommended for this exam. Some of these are very broad. For instance, one of their references is the Tableau white papers. And honestly, you can't possibly read every single one because there's just so many. The other resource here is the Tableau blueprint, which is a 287 page guide that outlines a holistic approach to developing your analytics strategy. You will not be tested on the entire document, but you will be required to know some basic information about the purpose of the blueprint. The main one of the exam will mainly focus on the information outlined in the Tableau blueprint. So we're going to be focusing on specific areas of this document and reviewing various subsections. Let's say you have a list of users that need to be added to a Tableau site. These users will need to create their own visualizations using data sources curated by others. They should also have the ability to edit and customize existing dashboards while administering content on the Tableau server site. Which license type will you assign to these users? Well, we have three different license types, creator, explorer, and a viewer. And we know that viewers have a limited set of capabilities. They can only interact with visualizations built by others. Creators, on the other hand, can access the full functionality of various Tableau products. They can build or curate data sources for others, and they can also transform the data and analyze it. And then we also have explorers, who can access some of the creator capabilities, but only in Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. They can also create new content based on existing data sources and workbooks. So in this question, our site users will be creating their own visualizations using existing data sources and dashboards. So the answer is C. We are talking about explorers. Question number two is asking us about the Tableau Blueprint. So which main processes are included in the Tableau Blueprint? Discover, govern, deploy, and evolve. Make sure you guys know what these processes are, as well as what happens during each stage of the process. Let's take a look at question number three. To ensure success with your analytics investment, your organization needs a clearly defined vision for deployment. During which phase of the process do you define your vision and strategy? In this diagram, we have outlined the necessary guidelines across critical foundational work. So we have our initial discovery phase, which involves building a strategy and putting in place teams around the strategy. And then we have the deployment phase, which involves setting the right foundational work, for example, deploying your architecture, putting in place educational plans, and making sure that we have the right communication channels. And then finally, we have the evolve phase, which is focused on putting in place various processes to help understand how people are using the platform, measuring it, and finding ways to engage and support these users. So the very beginning of the journey is all about setting a strong vision for analytics. For question number four, we need to think about what the analytics strategy allows us to define or what happens or doesn't happen during the discovery phase. The analytics strategy essentially helps you to define what is it that you're trying to accomplish and who is going to help you get there. Whereas the governance phase focuses more on maintaining analytics practice and processes by implementing policies and guidelines. So the answer here is B. In question number five, we need to be able to describe the active role of an executive sponsor. So in order to answer this question, you need to know who an executive sponsor is and their overall mission. Executive sponsors are leaders who promote the importance of implementing a data-driven culture. These individuals know what it takes to stay competitive and they know how to lead their organization forward. So the answer here is D. Let's take a look at the scenario described in question number six. To maintain control of highly sensitive data, your BI department has been delegated as a central authority who owns data access and produces data sources and dashboards for business consumption by a small number of creators. Which governance model is being described above? We have three primary governance models, which include centralized, delegated, and self-governing. In the scenario described above, we are referencing a centralized model in which we have a single authority like an IT department or a BI team, which produces all the content for the business in one-to-many relationship. Typically, you only have a few creator licenses and everyone else is licensed as a viewer. So make sure you know the difference between the governance models described in the Tableau Blueprint. The Tableau Blueprint Planner is another document which you guys should be familiar with. 
You should definitely be familiar with different types of surveys available in the planner, and you should have a general understanding of different areas that are covered within. For question number seven, we need to specify what are the different areas that the planner covers. So I would highly recommend to download it and explore various tabs found within to help you guys get a general idea of how it's used and what information it contains. Moving on to question number eight, as a line of business leader, you want to identify key data sources as well as how the data is distributed and consumed for a newly acquired firm. Your task is to also identify which analytical skills exist or need to be developed. So using the Tableau Blueprint Planner, recommend an appropriate survey to document this information. The answer to this question is F, data and analytics survey is going to help you document this information. For question number nine, let's assume that you work for an organization in which the planning and execution of all analytics initiatives is carried out by analysts and management based on their own deployment goals. Which analytics approach is described above? In this scenario, we're talking about the bottom up approach. So the answer is B. And this is our last question for domain one review. Let's say your IT department needs to document how Tableau will be integrated into your organization's existing technology investments. Which document should the IT team use to document the current enterprise architecture? And what type of questions will they need to answer? The IT team needs to fill out the enterprise architecture survey, and they will need to answer questions related to server operation system, preferred authentication method, um, security requirements, and things like that. So make sure you guys take a good look at the survey. So for domain one, make sure you guys review the Tableau Blueprint. Make sure you know what it's used for and different processes and phases outlined within. You should also be able to define what the analytics strategy is and how the Tableau Blueprint Planner is used. You should also be comfortable describing different roles, license types and responsibilities, as well as how different governance models work. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for domain two review.